Today, military members, dependents, and contract workers from Anderson Air Force Base participated in an emergency management exercise, incorporating scenarios that replicate real-world events. 36-wing emergency flight commander Anthony Noto. Is that you get to actually practice for a real-world incident without actually being in harm's way. Um, so today we did an active shooter exercise, so that would be if an armed gunman was to come onto the installation um, to cause harm to uh, the individuals on the base, whether that be military, civilian, um, dependents, or contractors. He says these exercises are vital to ensuring they are prepared to respond to any scenario which may arise. This one we've actually done a couple times this year um, because they've been getting more and more prevalent over the past couple years. This one, we kind of tried to give the base the littlest amount of uh, information as possible. He says that military personnel were trained on how to respond, and as it progressed, less information was provided so that their response could be evaluated. Um, so that way you can make sure that the base populace is prepared just in case something like this occurs. He adds that as part of the exercise, the giant voice system was activated to add realism. So in the event of any uh, real world or exercise, we use what's called the giant voice, which is just a lot of loudspeakers that can basically get the information out to the base populace um, so in case you're not in an office um, you're out just driving in your car the giant voice goes off and you know what's going on so you can drive yourself to a safe location while it is too say, early to determine how the overall response was noto says during the active shooter exercise all of the first responders handled the situation quickly reporting for guam's news network i'm jolene tovez